name is Charles Moirore Mushai, and I would like to present to you a poem in honor of men. Perhaps before I do that, uh, allow me to draw a small parallel and paint this picture for you. Uh, welcome into my uh, time machine and let's travel together back in time. For now, let's go uh, a decade, uh, or sorry, uh, a century. We could go further, but let's stick to a century. And probably a man I would like to refer to in that century is my grandfather, who I'm named after. And um, I remember as a small boy when we went to visit him in Kinangop, sometimes my father used to get in trouble because every time we went, he would have to slaughter a goat for me. And, and my father sometimes would be in a hurry uh, to get us back home. But uh, my grandfather would object to that until he slaughtered a sheep for me. And, you know, he'll tell me, uh, Baba, and not Baba, mind you this, not, not the Baba that's going around, it's Baba, um, go and choose the sheep that you want. And, and I would choose probably the, the most handsome or beautiful sheep in the flock. But uh, he would say, I'll give you that. But uh, uh, this is the one that we are going to slaughter. Perhaps one that is, has a lot of fat in it. My, father had, my grandfather had five wives. He had about 100 or so sheep and about 30 or so cattle. And... That man was a man, and in his thingira, I would say, <clears throat> and someone, uh, everybody around him, and that was the man. Travel back to me, uh, travel back with me to the modern man. And the poem I'm about to recite is, uh, and I give um, my hats off to Mrs. Cicely Musioki, the writer of this uh, wonderful poem, for drawing a parallel to that and, and bringing us to the modern man, um, the perceptions about the modern man, um, his dilemma, and reaffirming uh, him as a man, a father, husband, and leader, perhaps just like my grandfather was a father, a husband, and a leader. Here I am. I woke up with a start. Formless shadows besieged my peace. Drunkard, irresponsible, lazy, they yell at me. I want to respond. But my breath is constrained. My voice broken, I call. Oh God, deliver me. In an audible whisper, God answered. Here I am. So, what do you see? A mortal man? Crushed? Broken? Hopeless? Look again. What do you see? I hold the future. Our tomorrow. Look. He rests blissfully on his father's uncertain hands. But he rests oblivious of tomorrow. Unknowing but trusting. Two pairs of eyes meet. One red and weary, the other white with innocence. They commune in silence. And I break the silence and mumble, Here I am, I will be there. Now, what do you see? A mortal man, crushed, 
broken, hopeless? Look again. What do you see? I walked her down the aisle, uttered solemn pledges. Through thick and thin I rattled, until it got more thick than thin. But I hold on, remembering the promises I made. The crowd of witnesses gathered in the scenic green garden are urging me on. Her brown black eyes spoke. She believed in me, her husband. So I soldier on confidently. Here I am. So, what do you see? A mortal man, crushed, broken, hopeless? Look again. What do you see? They all look up to me for leadership, encouragement, inspiration, service. Tirelessly I labor to make the difference. The pressure, the fatigue, all too real for my furrowed forehead and my receding hairline. I am the beacon of hope, not the drunk, irresponsible, lazy. Yes, I am the Christian man, the father, the husband, the leader. So, do you now see? Here I am. Thank you.